Welcome back to another episode of Your Homegirls Around Town. I'm your host, Haley. And I'm Jamie. And with so many people being from out of town and Easter right around the corner, people just want to feel connected. I know just the place. They love loving in their community and they're real big on Easter. Let's let them show us how. And now we're here with Pastor James and Pastor Ashley Harris. Thank you so much for having us today. Can you tell us more about what is your vision or where you see yourself in the community as a church? Well, big thing for our church across every campus at Calvary is we um, we want to be known as a as a church that just loves people. Doesn't matter where you're from, uh, you know what you know what your family's like or what your family history is. You could be the richest person, the poorest person. Doesn't matter. We just want to love everybody. Um, our desire in the community is to make sure that everyone knows that um, you have a home here, you have a place here. Um, you know our outreach. We desire to reach, you know, the homeless. That's a big part of our ministry here at Calvary. Um, we have a, a big presence in the schools, uh, connecting with the next generation. Because one thing, and you could correct me if I'm wrong, but one thing that we want to really establish in New Smyrna is that Calvary is a multi-generational church. It doesn't matter what walk of life you're in or what season of life you're in. Like you have a place here, you have a you have a community you can connect to, and it's just important for us to make sure that the city knows that. So I understand over the next few weeks you have some exciting stuff planned back into that mission. What do you have going on? So do you want to talk a little bit about what we have coming up uh, for our egg hunt? Yeah, Saturday. so uh, Saturday the 8th, we're going to have our egg hunt right here at our church property. It's mm-hmm. going to be a very inclusive for all kids, all ages. Parents, come on out. It's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to have like a 3D little virtual reality type thing going on for egg hunt. So make sure kids, you come on out. We have something for everybody. Yeah, we'll have inflatables, carnival games, uh, food trucks. That's one thing we love bringing in. Uh, any of the mom and pop shops, people who have like we bake cookies. Can we sell them at your church? Absolutely. Come on in. Uh, so we'll have a lot of different events like that going on that same day. And the coolest part is every kid is going to get Easter eggs. Every kid's walking away with candy. We want to make sure that uh, through the scavenger hunt, every child will walk through and kind of be led through this adventure during the day. And every station, they'll get an egg. And then once the kid finds every station, they go to our egg meter and then they'll be handed a big bag full of candies and treats and goodies. And mom and dad, you can take two hours to go through it. If you're on a schedule, you want to get it done in 20 minutes, it's up to you. We want to make sure that you feel comfortable, do it on your own time. We're just looking for families to come, have a safe place to have fun and to just find community together. So we hope to uh, see you guys with us that Saturday. It's going to be a lot of fun. So what if someone's looking for a home for Easter? Man, well, if you're looking for a home, we would love to invite you to join us. We've actually been experiencing so much growth that we're going to be going to two services here right after Easter. Um, We've been seeing, you know, young families. We've been seeing grandma and grandpa visit the church and they loved it too. A lot of our young adults have been coming in uh, for through spring break. They discovered the church and they got rooted in here with us as well. So again, that multi-generational thing, we're seeing it happen. If you want to come check us out, we've got life groups. We've got things going on for our teenagers, our kids, our young adults. Um, our freedom group meets here Monday night. So literally there's something for anybody and everybody. So if you want to come check it out and find a community where you can just be you and come and be loved, we invite you. Uh, no pressure, but man, you know where we we are. We're meeting here Sundays right now at 1030, but the first Sunday after Easter, we'll be meeting at 9 and 1130 right here at Calvary NSB. And if we could do a quick plug, if you guys know where the Brandon Center is, you know how beautiful that location is. It's right in the heart of the city, and we're inviting everybody to join us Easter Sunday at the Brandon Center at 1030. I believe that no matter what you're going through, no matter uh, what your past might be or what you're presently struggling with, I believe everybody has a future and I want you to experience what God's plan for your life is. Easter Sunday, 1030, come discover because it could be real rough right now, but I believe the best is yet to come. So if you want to join us at the Brandon Center, uh, Easter Sunday, 1030, we'd love to have you. Wow, that was amazing. I'm so excited for all you have going on. How can the community support you back other than just showing up? Is there anything you need? Well, we are actually going to be launching a playground at the end of June. Um, There's a young man, uh, Miguel Madreda. He was known far and wide. Many people loved him. He had such an impact. At a celebration of life, there are actually over uh, 2,500 people that came. And he was uh, 20 20 years old, about to be 21. So if you can imagine a 20-year-old that had impacted that many people, um, he was loved by us. He was loved by so many in the city. So we're actually dedicating a playground to him. It's called Miguel's Place. And we want to invite you to join us at Miguel's Place. Uh, At the end of June, it'll be open. 
And if you just want to support by spreading the word, if you want to make a donation to help add a bench or a, a table, or if you want to add to the playground, you can let us know. But we just want Miguel's Place to be an area where families and kids, just in the community, you don't have to be a member at Calvary. You can come, have a safe place to make memories, bring the kids, have a picnic. Um, so if you want to support us in that, that'd be, that'd be a big help. We'd appreciate it a lot. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for joining us today and explaining all you're doing in the community. Thanks for having us. We appreciate y'all. Well, that wraps up another episode of Your Homegirls Around Town. So happy Easter from your homegirls, and we will catch you around town. Mm-hmm.